Hello everyone, Pally Tim here. Welcome back to Dark Souls 3. We're back in the swamp today, and I found a room over here that I want to check out. I just died in it. Uh, I was continuing my pattern of retracing my steps and trying to find things that I may have missed earlier. In fact, this may be... No, this is the area I did not venture into. But there was a little room over here that I didn't even see. It has some items in it and a pretty heavy guy. I also um, went over and revisited our Dark Knight friend. And I'm happy to report he's still there. So the Dark Knight doesn't seem to be a one and done enemy. He's going to be respawning and maybe that means something for us in the future. Thought maybe there was a secret room there. This is the Sorcerer's Hood. No wep- no- no wand. That's interesting. And the Sage's Ring. What does the Sage's Ring do? Well, let's find out together. Uh, ring given to Foran's undead legion by one of the tr the Preacher Twins, known more commonly as Crystal Sages. Shortens spell casting time. Wonderful. Wonderful. All right, so this is the area over here that I have not been into. We have all of our Estus. We're okay in that regard. How how tanky is this guy? Oh, not at all. Okay. I was gonna say, oh my God, look at that hat. Look at that hat, hold on. I was gonna say, that guy over there looks like Big Hat fucking Logan. But they all look like Big Hat Logan. Big Hat Logan is my second favorite Dark Souls character of all time. Actually, he might be my first. I said that Andre the Giant was earlier, but I think Big Hat Logan, I, I like him more. Dude, that is a Big Hat Logan hat. Where did you get that? Where did you get that? More importantly, why don't I have one? That's bullshit. That's, okay, first of all, we need to drop some weight because this shit's just a little bit too heavy. Glove's not enough, so we'll drop the chest piece. Uh, and then, I don't know, we'll just equip some other shit. I need to keep it under 70, right? It wasn't 70 the number, so we're not over 70 there. Or we are, we were over 70 there. Uh, let's just go with some, let's just go with some easy robes. Why not? Because apparently everything's too heavy, that's why. Dude, let's just equip the sorcerer's robe. That's pretty cool. We got some heavy armor underneath, sorcerer's robe on top, makes us look like we're just whatever. Gives a real battle mage feel. Okay, what's this? Where's this lead? The Ring of Sacrifice again. In Dark Souls 1, there was only one Ring of Sacrifice, if I am not mistaken. And now we have found two. I like this little subtle thing they did, too. They were like, oh, by the way, there's a guy in there. But how do you get to that guy? Oh, there's probably a walkway. Yeah. I just wanted to jump on this so I could be like that guy. Oh, Crystal Lizard! Hello! Oh, give me some shards! Fuck! Damn it! He stopped moving! I wasn't ready for that. Why would I have been ready for that? My nice shield, bro. My nice shield, bro. Where's this wizard? Where is he? That looks familiar. Oh, fuck. What was that? I think I'm going to need to get hue and form. I'm, I'm freaking out a little bit that I don't have my... Oh, this was the secret room that we fell into. Okay, so I guess it wasn't that much of a secret. Or at least there's multiple entrances to it. If nothing else. I'm going to get to you. I'm going to get to you. You'll see. You can't evade me forever. Give me your goddamn big hat. Friend ahead, and then right. We're gonna save that for later. For now, I'm gonna try to see if I can get a big hat. 
Long sword does not interest me at all. Oh, look at you. You little shits being sneaky. I'm glad I went down the side path. Are they casting... They're... Is that crystal magic? I can't tell. I don't think so. I don't think it's crystal magic. If it was, if it was crystal magic, which that's not. But I guess Big Hat Logan knew more magic than just crystal. I was going to say, if it is crystal, he they have to be Big Hat Logan disciples. God, I love Big Hat Logan. Fuck. Be wary of mimicry. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh. Well, that's definitely crystal magic. Wasn't ready for that. Okay, human form. Here we go. Okay. Let's give him a piece of our mind, shall we? Oh, that hurt. That looks like an AoE. No, that's teleport. Okay, well, I'll get full health. Don't mind me. Where are you popping up at? Where are you going? Crystal Sage. Why, hello there. Maybe you should teleport again, buddy. Oh, I feel like the Bam Bam Stick is going to be a good weapon versus this guy. I, I think doing a lot of damage to him very quickly is going to be something that he won't be able to really deal with. Hello. Ugh. Look at that. Yes, the war cry. It is so real. Where is he now? Oh, well. We'll just have to find the real one then, won't we? We'll just have to find the real one then. I wonder if it's the one with all of the crystal magic around him. I don't know. Oh, well, it turns out it is. You fucking crystal sage. Who do you think you are? I knew the great Big Hat Logan. I've mastered his spells. You are meaningless. You are nothing but an insult to his memory. Nothing but an insult. The legendary Big Hat Logan would be ashamed. All right, let's go check what this room over here was. Before we, uh, venture for- Whoa! <laughs> There's some people doing co-op there. <laughs> uh, nope. Okay. So, it was- is there really something down here, or am I just going to be killed? Sit down! He didn't sit down. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think we've already been here, though, haven't we? I think we have. Wait a minute. Are you a friend? No. Okay. Didn't attack me, I wasn't sure. I can't die now. That would be embarrassing. This is my last Estus Flash though. Oh no! Oh no! What a, what a clever man. Uh, where's that bonfire at? Isn't there one here? Oh god, what is this? Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> This is bad. Okay, well, there's more to this place than I thought there was. I think I'm okay, though. I think I'm gonna make it. I think I'm gonna make it. All right. Oh, was not ready for that. Was not ready for that at all. Uh, there seems to be two paths leading out of this place. We'll just go ahead and respawn, everybody. Ain't no thing. No big deal. Someone behind 
you. It's me. <laughs> <laughs> wow, he is tanky. And now he's dead. Okay. Dude, I want their armor. I may, like, just come back in here in between episodes and try to farm these guys. Crystal gem. What is this here? Nice shield, bro. So, uh, when I guard break someone, I can actually follow up with another attack. That, um, is almost the same as a parry. Uh, I've pulled it off a couple of times. Never in a video, though. At least I don't think I did. So, it was just straight here, right? Nice shield, bro. I can never get them to actually put up their shield, so I can break their guard. So that was down there where those dudes are. I don't see any items worth having. Hello. Yeah, don't do that. Stop with all the yelling. I don't need everybody pissed off at me. He pissed off everybody, okay. Uh, let's just take two steps up here. We should be able to heal. Fuck. I tried to swing that back around. Didn't work. Yep, the range... The roll range is a little bit too long. We're fine, though. These guys die in one hit. Just need to use the range of our weapon to our advantage. Look at that. Um, so we found the entrance to this place once. A heretic staff. Any walls that I should be aware of? Any illusionary things that I can go in? It's not looking like it. God, I have to say, the weapon durability in this game is amazing. I hated the weapon durability in Dark Souls 2. Fucking hated. Forcing a ring slot just because your fucking weapon can't, like... It wasn't built well enough to actually deal damage to enemies? Like, that was insane to me. Just make the weapons last longer. Like, it's so stupid. Like, Andre would never make a weapon like that. Andre would be insulted. Well, shall we PvP? I think we shall. Ariana Grande. How exciting. How exciting. What did this message say? Friend ahead, and then right. Oh, this is new. This is new. <gasps> That's an NPC. Hello? Well, this is unexpected. I don't often have visitors. What do you want? I don't know. This is my study that you've happened upon. If you haven't any business, I've reading to get back to. Asked to learn sorceries. How intriguing. You'd better not. And should never be forced. You have your own methods. Sorcery need not be one of them. Don't so that's... Don't bother you. Be on your way then. You're unkindled. Shouldn't. Shouldn't you go back to your duty? So that was an intelligence check. Uh, we've been focusing all of our stats on strength, like everything. So we don't have yet the intelligence necessary for sorcery. But um, that's something we can rectify. Hello. Oh, look at this. We're starting at, oh shit. I fell. So we have a katana wielder. Uh, let's let's bow, shall we? Okay. She's walking that way. Are we? Do we fight now? Are we friends? <laughs> okay. Okay, well, you know, whatever. I'm gonna... 
I'm go I want I want to fight you. So I'm going to do that. There we go. That's more like it. That's more like it. How do you like the Bam Bam stick, baby girl? I guess this isn't the Bam Bam stick, but how do you like the large club? I don't know. It's not as good. What is that in your hand? What is that? I got you. I'm trying to punch her to death. <laughs> <laughs> so what do I get for winning that? Anything? Just 86 souls. Killed a phantom. Okay. Uh, now, where was I? We need to take a right somewhere. Uh, where was that? I'm kind of discombobulated. I don't understand the point of those invaders. I'm assuming it's like the Dragon Covenant where they... Oh, here we go. I'm assuming it's like the dra Dragon Covenant where they have to kill a certain amount of people in order to advance in their covenant, but they can only be invited in, which has always been strange. So just because of that, I'm going to try to keep inviting them. Blue bug, blue bug pellet, but um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know anything about that. I really want to join this. I I just want to PvP, like come in and save people. I really want to do that. I want to join the Blue Sentinels right now. I don't know how. I don't know how to. Wait. Fuck. What I do? I didn't do anything. Help. Explanation. Value indicating general strength. I don't need that. I don't need an explanation of that. God damn it. Well, this was fun. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do a full rest here. So we should probably go back and level up. Uh, this might be a good time to test uh, how much intelligence we actually need for this guy. For those of you that don't know, my Bam Bam build of choice is a strength intelligence character. With, that is very, very nimble on her feet. Um, usually with no equipment whatsoever, is able to roll a lot, has a ton of stamina. Very well, then take uh, so we have an intelligence of eight. Let's bring it up to 10. Well, and then watch. with that 10 intelligence, we can see if that is enough to meet the requirements for this guy. Now, I really doubt it is. I really doubt that it would be enough. But it's good to check. I think for Big Hot Logan, you needed somewhere like 16 or 18. But um, that, I, I don't know if that's 100%. I don't know if that's 100% at all. So I'm going to run over there. We'll just go talk to him. I'm, I might just run by all these guys. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Thank you. Running by did the trick. Well, well. There's something different about you, isn't there? Very well. Indeed, I am a sorcerer. With plenty to share. However, what champion demands service without recompense? Clearly, you are not that sort of woman. Nope. So you will make me a promise that in exchange for my teaching you will bring me knowledge in the form of scrolls detailing sorcery secrets well can you assure me of this sure I'll try yeah very well you're no fool I take it you understand the weight of a promise I am Orbeck of Vinheim unkindled one I shall teach you sorceries we will learn together. It shall be like our very own school. And he is going back to the Fire Link Shrine. And we'll go back to the bonfire that we were just at.
So the path to the right seemed a bit more obvious. It seemed as though they were trying to guide you to the right a bit more. So I went left. <laughs> That's a good reason, right? Uh, I, I find the psychology of game development actually very interesting. How um, game developers can use subtle subtle cues to to basically make a non-linear experience linear. I don't know. Stuff like that always interests me. So I'm a, I'm a, I look for those cues. Like, oh well, the path extends further down this area, and it has a nice ramp, and it, you know, the sun's kind of seeping in over there. Oh, Titanite shards, nice. And uh, I, I try to go against them, which may just be another way that game developers can subtly <laughs> make my experience a bit more linear. Uh, this is the path. This looks, looks like a bit of an offshoot here. Lizard head, therefore, try right. Hello. What do you got for me? Twinkling Titanite. I will commend this. Right, require a head, and then lizard. I'll commend that too. What else is to the right? Uh, try range battle. That looks like the, an area that the main path would lead to. What is this way? Uh, the same area we were just at, so yeah. All loops right back around to the same thing. Nice attack, bro. You're living the dream. So backstabs in this game, I don't think I've really talked about them. You have to hold down the uh, R1 a bit longer. You can't just walk right into the backstab. You can't spam into the backstab. It has to be a very deliberate press. You have to say, like, basically, I'm committing to this backstab or a really shitty time to R1. And I like that. It feels good. Uh, also, with the shield breaks that I haven't been able to show in a video yet. Well, shit. With the shield breaks that I haven't been able to show in a video yet, where, like, you uh, break their guard just by attacking. I'm assuming it's the same if I were to do, like, a kick. Uh, you have to very okay very deliberately um hold down r1 to make that animation go through am i going down an alternate path right now uh yes for the crest shield that's the spider shield that guy has hello how are you Oh, we're war crying. Let's do it. I think I won, buddy. <laughs> you have a lot of health. Very reminiscent of the... Oh, God! Of the bandit in the forest from before. In fact, you are as well. Not as, not as much, actually. But the fact that they appear to be real people meant to imitate players basically is what I mean the fact that they both seem to be like that makes me think that uh, maybe we're heading towards a forest covenant and, you know the archway is kind of indicative of that as well dude being a forest invader was fucking fun spider shield Spider shield used to be a pretty good, like, starting shield. Be wary of sniper. Try circling around. Hello? Well, that's not a sniper. Ouch! Hit him right in the mouth. That's a sniper over there, I presume. Uh, looks like I can get up there, though. Oh, there's more than one, I see. What's... Oh my god, it's a lot of dogs. Shit. 
Oh, I'm panicking. Panic happens, R1 starts to... The R1's flow. Shit. We're good, though. We're good. I'm, like, so fucking tilted that I'm, like, one damage away from killing these things. Ouch! Ouch! Okay, we're fine. Is it alive still? No. Okay, what am I walking into up here? There's another dog. At least one. Maybe two. Oh, come on! Then. Stop jumping around! Here we go. Our Estus are not going to last a long time at this rate. Oh god, there is another dog. And again, one fucking damage short away from- ONE DAMAGE! Oh my god. Seriously. Where are you going? What is that? Dog's head was going through the wall! What? <laughs> what happened, little puppy? Oh no! Ugh. Where am I heading? The very big door up ahead. Pyromancer. And he's dead. Was he, was he gonna blow up? I know it told me what zone I was in right there, but I didn't read it. Oh, he doesn't seem like he's hurting anybody. Hello. Uh-oh. He got himself stuck. I didn't mean anything by it. I just want the item. Oh, it's an Estus Shard, too. Totally worth it. Totally worth it. There seems to be a lot of paths here. Oh, shit. Okay. So it did die. I was wondering if maybe we were getting into some necromancy stuff. Yeah. Dude, I need to upgrade my weapon! There has to be an easy way to get Titanite shards. There has to be. What? Filth ahead. What? So drop down. Okay. What's through the big doors? Sorry. I know. I killed your friends. Didn't mean it. Didn't mean anything by it. I promise. Shit. Time for rolling. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Why is there a co-op sign, I wonder? Does not open from this side. Let me guess. Ugh. Fucking doors, man. Fucking doors. Well, let's let's PvP one more person. Do they spawn in here? Do they, do they spawn where we where we summon the map? I think they do, or at least close. We'll uh we'll fight them. We'll win, and then we'll call it an episode. I was gonna try to close the doors. I can't. Can't close the doors. Uh, did the summon not go through? There's an item over here. A notched whip. There you go, Jessica. Right there. It's right there. Jessica likes whips and dark souls. I don't understand. Don't understand. Don't understand at all. I don't think the summon went through. Oh, well. Thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed today's episode. I am gonna call it a night, I think. It's 10.35. I got some videos to edit. Got some sleep to have. Hope you all enjoyed, though, and I will see you all next time.